quick revision video on optical isomerism. So starting with the essentials, it's a form of stereoisomerism, so that's molecules with the same structural formula but different spatial arrangements of atoms or groups. It occurs when organic molecules have a chiral centre, so that's a carbon atom with four different atoms or groups of atoms attached. Isomers are non-superimposable mirror images of each other. Isomers are referred to as enantiomers. For each chiral centre there are two possible isomers, so the total number of isomers is 2 raised to the power of the number of chiral centres. So obviously one chiral centre, 2 to the power 1 is 2 isomers, 2 chiral centres gives you 4, and 5 chiral centres would give you 32 possible isomers. So the main type of question is to draw the 3D representation of the optical isomers. So I've got this four-step sequence that I get my students to follow. So the first thing you do is identify the chiral centre. You draw an empty tetrahedral molecule with that chiral carbon in the middle. Position the atoms or groups around that carbon and then do the mirror image of what you've drawn. So we'll use this amino acid to illustrate all of that. So there's the chiral centre. There's your empty tetrahedral molecule. So I've chosen to put the groups of atoms around like that. It doesn't matter which order you put them in, as long as your other molecule is the mirror image of what you've drawn. And we'll just finish with, if you have two chiral centres, this can be quite confusing. So the first thing I've done is I've mirrored both of the chiral centres. So the next representation is going to be the mirror image of the top chiral centre only. So you can see that that's been mirrored, but the bottom chiral centre is running exactly in the same direction as it was before. So obviously the other one is the mirror of the bottom chiral centre only. And all four of them together look like that.